Okay, this is an update for uh, September the 4th, 2015. And uh, we're looking at the uh, East Pacific Infrared Loop. And uh, we're watching Tropical Storm Kevin as it moves north. Uh, right now, it's uh, being blasted by a, uh, a heart transmitter or, or a microwave-type uh, transmitter right now. Uh, we can see a, a pock mark in the uh, visible light mode uh, right here. Let's take a look at that right now. Right there. The very last frame we can see where the uh, where it's hit in, in the sort of the uh, southern corner right here with the uh, transmitter microwave uh, beam. Okay. And uh, we can also see the uh, shock waves right after Actually, this was hit a prior. They're hitting it a couple of different times in the seven and a half hour loop. But the last uh, frame, we can see the uh, pock mark right where that uh, large uh, eruption takes place, where the heat is uh, pinned on that point there. And then we see the uh, there sort of looks like there's a little bit of a, a uh, an explosion there at the bottom of that uh, core. Okay, and then we see uh, a lot of uh, last waves out of the uh, center of the storm. Okay, so let's go look at this uh, over in the, uh, uh, this is the water vapor loop. And we can see a blast pattern all the way around this, especially up on this side, the uh, western side there. And we can see a lot of diminishment. Uh, you know, the, the uh, core is almost completely purple. And after it's hit, it uh, diminishes quite a bit. All right, so let's look at this in the uh, infrared loop. Same thing, we see a lot of diminishment, mostly red, and then it uh, deteriorates to uh, uh, yellow and, and some green. All right, so they're killing this storm uh, because it's, it's, it's going to move over land here very shortly in the next uh, probably seven or eight, nine hours. It's gonna move right over uh, Baja, California, right here and into uh, Arizona and possibly California. Uh, this storm was forecast to take a left turn, but uh, it doesn't look like that's going to happen because uh, over here, uh, we've got this high pressure. And I don't see how this storm is going to take a left turn uh, in into a, a high pressure zone. That doesn't seem likely. Something is, is, is miss here. I'm not sure what, what's happening here, but that, that's definitely high pressure. And we can see the effect it's having on the tail of this uh, storm here. This is a uh, Imana. All right, the tail is moving along and it has to take a, an abrupt uh, detour right here because of this high pressure, which is indicated by this tan uh, area right here. And then the black becomes very, very dry, like in this area here. Okay, I hope everyone can see that. All right, meantime, these two storms have, have sort of come together, and uh, the storm is continuing to spin counterclockwise. This is uh, Ignacio and then Kilo. So uh, Hawaii here uh, is still having thunderstorms. Um, it looks like uh, something happened here overnight down here. Uh, the counterclockwise spinning uh, system down here was apparently blown apart. That's why we're seeing all this stray uh, water vapor, this steamy looking water vapor. There's no rotation down here anymore. All right. The tail of this uh, storm here was uh, spinning counterclockwise uh, yesterday. And uh, now we have no rotation. So that's interesting. I missed that on the last uh, video. Okay. But this is what we're going to keep an eye on for now because California could get some rain out of this if they uh, pulled the plug on this transmitter right here. Uh, things would change and we get rain up in California where we need it. All right. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other maps. We got this one. Uh, here is a close up of the southwest. This is the water vapor loop. And uh, we can see that blast pattern very clearly right here. The storm is being hit with a transmitter, and uh, this is the result of that high energy uh, explosive uh, heat generated in the core heats the water vapor, and then we have an expansion of the air inside of that storm, and then everything uh, expands outward very quickly. 
All right, that's water vapor gas escaping the uh, escaping the center of that storm, and uh, that's clear, uh, clearly visible right here. Same thing. Okay, so in a couple of you know, two three hours, we'll get a get to see a much better picture of this storm in this view. All right, uh, let's go look at the. Uh, this is the visible light mode. You see the same pattern here. And we can also see some of these uh, disruptive these uh, pressure waves that are moving out here, right out here. Okay, National Hurricane Center shows Kevin as a uh, diminished a little bit. Uh, this morning it was 60 miles per hour. Now we're at 50 miles per hour. It's moving uh, uh, due north at 8 miles per hour. So nothing has changed yet. I don't know. Uh, they're saying maybe tomorrow this thing will take a left turn, but uh, I don't see how that's going to happen because of all this high pressure here. If anything, this will uh, this high pressure is going to push this storm right through uh, Arizona and New Mexico and, and up through this way, and they'll continue to hit this storm as much as they can before it moves on shore. Okay, so that's pretty much it. We'll go ahead and do an, uh, an update later on. All right.